Hey everyone, this is Leadbetter 17P. In this video, we are going to do part two of how to install Windows. Uh, the first video, I'm sure you guys have already watched, was a step by step tutorial on how to install Windows XP. Now we are going to do a step by step tutorial on how to install Windows 7. Now I'm installing all these through a virtual machine, uh, but all these steps will still work uh, the way you guys are going to be doing it uh, with a disk. Uh, I'm going to be installing from an ISO, as you can see. But all right, let me set up my virtual device. We're just going to go Windows 7. We're going to do a 32-bit installation. We're going to call this one YouTube install Windows 7 all right oh sure we'll give it 512 meg for memory it's gonna you end up using 25 gigs worth of space thank God I have a uh, 500 gig hard drive in my laptop all right we're gonna click fix size 25 gigs will work create it all right, we're going to let this go ahead and create. As you saw in the last video, it's pretty much the same idea on setting it all up in the beginning. But um, I'm going to pause you guys now and let this create. And once it's done, I will be right back. All right, we now have my virtual drive for the YouTube install Windows 7. Let's get this started so we can do a step-by-step -step walkthrough for you guys. We're going to get rid of that. You guys have already seen this whole thing. I explained it. Oh, let's find my ISO image. Now, I am installing, like I said, from a .iso image. Uh, you guys will be installing from like a DVD or a CD with your ROM drive. And all the steps that I will show you are the same exact steps. I'm just doing mine. Oh, hold on one sec. It threw it onto a different screen for me there. <laughs> All right, let's make this one full screen. All right, it said Windows is setting up files. It's doing a starting Windows. Basically, you got to wait on this. Get your lovely little Windows icon flying in in the center of your screen. We are going to not show that. All right. VirtualBox is having a hard time with this one. <laughs> All right. All right. Now we're at the install for Windows 7, the beginning of it. Go ahead and select your language. Obviously, I'm English, so I'm going to choose English, United States, and keyboard input US. Go ahead and click next. Then you want to click install now. Basically, you'll say setup is starting. And you wait for it. And while you're waiting for it, you can watch this lovely little circle spin around. Takes a couple minutes, or a few minutes, I should say. Now, like I said before, um, it may look like it's going a lot faster in my video here on how to install uh, these copies of Windows. Uh, like I said, it'll depend on your ROM drive and how fast the speed of your ROM drive is and stuff like that. All right. We are going to just do an install. Oh, what should we do? This is this ISO image is all the copies of Windows 7, 64-bit and 32-bit. This is a personal copy I have. Uh, so I'm not going to be sharing these with you guys. You guys will have to have your own copies of Windows. Um, we're going to do a 32-bit copy of Ultimate, which is also what I'm running on my computer at the moment also. So go ahead and click Next. It'll give you the software license terms. Go ahead and click accept and click next. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. 
this is a lot different than Windows XP installations. Now, you don't want to click upgrade. The best way, if you're getting like a, a fresh installation, is go to custom advanced. And you'll see right here, disk zero unallocated space. And it'll say 25 gigabyte total and free space 25 gigabyte. What you want to do is go over here and click on drive options advanced. You want to click on new. And it'll give you the size of your drive, which is all set. You leave it where it's at and click apply. And now it'll pop up a window saying to ensure that all Windows features work correctly. Windows might create additional partitions for system files. Go ahead and click OK, which is usually just like a 100 megabyte partition they make for uh, special system files. Yeah, I was right, 100 megabyte. Now, when you want to format your primary, which is nice, it tells you primary, like the 100 megabyte says system, so you don't want to deal with that. Just leave that one as it is. Make sure you have disk zero partition two selected and the type primary, and go ahead and click format. And this will just pop up a, a box basically saying, you know, if you format this partition, any data stored will be lost. Well, as of right now, there's nothing there. So go ahead and click OK. All right, there, it's all installed, uh, all formatted, I should say. And go ahead and click Next. And this is basically the part of the installation where you're just sitting back and watching. Um, the installation part there it's already copied window files now it needs to expand your windows files and then it's going to install your features install your updates and then complete your installation so as of right now this will take probably with a disk in your rom drive this will probably take about half hour to install uh well to expand windows files about 20 minutes to a half hour, depending on the speed of your ROM drive. Um, so yeah, as of right now, we are going to pause you guys. And once that part is done and it gets onto the installing features part, we will unpause the video and continue. All right. Now we are at 98% for expanding Windows files. We are going to let this finish and it will go on to installing features. Now the expanding files part, it's taken, I would say maybe 15, 20 minutes to expand them, I would say. Uh, for you guys, it's a split second. You saw it, it was at 0%, now it's at 98%. Um, I paused the video just so it wouldn't be so long. I'd like to try to keep these videos as short as possible and straight to the point. Um, so yeah, we're still at 98%. The ca the last couple percent seem to take the longest because you've been sitting and waiting for so long. All right, I'm going to stick you guys back on pause and I am going to Go ahead and let this finish. Oh, there it goes, 99% now. Should be just about done. Shouldn't take too long to get the last 1%. There we go, 100%. All right, now it's going to do its little think, 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 and go to installing features here in a second which is all done all right now it's installing updates which doesn't take all that long this is a, a pretty quick part of the uh, install there you go
basically the longest part of installing Windows 7 is uh, expanding the Windows files. Once you got those expanded, it's good to go. All right, now it's going to restart your computer. Uh, it'll say restarting, give a countdown, or you can just click restart now. We'll just let it do its countdown. All right, we'll let this reboot. Now it's reloading. Now it'll say this, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Do not press anything. Let that go. I don't know why it keeps doing that. It keeps dragging it to my other screen for some reason. All right, we got the start windows, the starting windows screen, which is basically your Windows 7 boot screen. Wait for that. You'll see your Windows logo come flying in. Wait for this to load. All right, now it's doing your registry settings, or at least my copy does registry settings. This has my product key already built into it too. So there will be a section that you will see that I do not show in this video, which is the in, you know the part where you put in your um, your Windows product key. Uh, I have it already built in. Uh, I think the only one I don't have it built into yet is my Windows 8 which I will show in the next video, but we'll have to do some tricky maneuvering to get around the, uh, oh, moved it to my other screen once again. All right, now it says setup is starting services. I'll go ahead and wait for that to do its thing. Your screen may flicker a couple times while it's doing so. And that's usually because it's messing with your driver for your video. All right. Now it'll bring you right back to this screen, which is the installing Windows screen. It'll say completing installation. Now this may take a few minutes, depending on your system and depending on your ROM drive. What we're going to do for now is pause you guys and let it complete its installation. When it's almost done, I will unpause you guys and uh, we will continue from there. All right, now it's finalizing and it's already done there. It's saying setup will continue after restarting your computer. So now we have to wait for, oh geez, look at this. VirtualBox Manager has stopped working. We're going to cancel this. All right. Hold on. Let me pause you guys and see if I can figure this out. All right. There we go. The system rebooted. I figured out what it was. The pro uh, my program just aired out because of my video recording software running with it. But all right. Like I said, it'll reboot and it'll come to this section. Once it boots up, it'll say setup is preparing your, com your computer for first use. We're going to move this box over just a hair for you guys so you can see it a little bit. Basically what it's doing is kind of like what Windows XP does, setting up your start menu items and stuff like that. This is basically what it's doing. It's setting up your start menu, your accessories, your games, you know, the themes and wallpapers and all that stuff. This takes anywhere between 30 seconds to, it could take up to five minutes. Like I said, depending on your system. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it's how long it's going to take for me. For the fact of I am running this in a virtual machine. Uh, so yeah. So basically what you do is you just wait for this to finish. And you get to your next step. All right, now setup says it is checking your video performance. So basically what it's doing is just making sure that you have a decent video card in your computer that will run Windows 7. Once it's done with that, it'll show up with this screen. It'll say the name of your Windows. Like I said, mine. we installed Windows 7 Ultimate 32-bit. 
It's telling you to choose a username for your account and name your computer to distinguish it on your uh, home network. So what we're going to do is, once again, I'm going to name my computer Ledbetter 17P. And we're going to click Next. And this is if you want to password your computer. Um, you don't have to. If you're the only one using the computer, you should be fine. If you want to password it, all you have to do is type your password, then retype your password again, and then type in a hint for your password. If you ever have to do a, a password recovery, it'll show you the hint, and maybe that will help remind you what your password is if you, if you happen to forget it. But uh, we're not going to enter anything for the sakes of this video. So go ahead and click Next. We're going to click Use Recommended Settings. All right, now we are at the part where you review your time and date settings. Well, so far it looks correct. At August 2013, we are on Monday the 5th. The time is right at 5.20, but we are in the wrong time zone. Like I said, I am East Coast, so we are going to go Eastern Time. Wherever you're at, just go ahead and put whatever time zone you're at. Once you have it set, go ahead and click Next. Now this is where you select your uh, computer's current location. It says, this computer is connected to a network. Windows will automatically apply the correct network settings based on your network's location. Now if you're doing your computer at home, and it's your personal computer for going on Facebook and watching YouTube and maybe playing a couple games, you should be fine just clicking on Home Network. So go ahead and click on that. It will connect to the network and apply settings. That takes a minute or two. All right, we're going to pause it, let it do its thing. All right, now that it's done that, it'll say what uh, Windows is finalizing your settings. This will take a few minutes also. Basically, it's just buttoning up the installation All right, we are going to pause you once again, and we'll resume when it continues. All right, there you go. Windows is finished finalizing settings. And you are now at your welcome screen for your Windows 7. Basically, just wait for that to load. And we will be at desktop, and I can show you for a fact that it is a legit install. What it's doing now is preparing to configure Windows. Pretty much getting it ready for your first startup. Do, do, do. Yep, that's okay. We'll click okay. So it's logging off now, shutting down. Alright, now it is preparing desktop. We had a little hiccup in the program. It ended up rebooting and reloading my Windows again. But um, it is preparing desktop. Go ahead and let it do its thing. And it should uh, bring you straight to desktop mode. Where you can see your desktop and your start menu and all that. And a lot of you, I'm pretty sure, are familiar with Windows 7 nowadays. Even Windows XP. Uh, my next video will be of an installation of Windows 8. That'll be part 3 of the Windows installation series. And it'll be the final video. Um, I also, I don't know if you guys are interested in learning to do older copies of Windows, how to install like 95 or 98, but if so, just let me know. But all right, there we go. We are in desktop. 
There's your start menu. Let's see, let's go control panel. Wait for it to load. We are going to go system and security. And we're going to click on system. Boom, right there, Windows 7 Ultimate, Service Pack 1, Windows Activation Status not available. We just got to wait for it to load. There we go. Windows is activated, has the genuine stamp, obviously. There's our Windows startup sound, a little too late. <laughs> but... Um, there you guys go. That is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install Windows 7 uh, Ultimate 32-bit. Uh, it's pretty much the same setup for all versions of Windows 7, 32-bit or 64-bit. Um, and uh, if you guys got any questions, you can uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to go check out my website, ledbetter17p.com. And... Uh, this video not only will be on my YouTube channel, it'll be on the website also. And uh, feel free to uh, check out all the different pages I got on there. My homepage with a donation button to help fund my website and help fund product reviews. So if you have any products that you guys want me to review, that'd be a great way to get it, get it to happen. Um, let's see what else. There's a, a free download section on there with a bunch of helpful tech programs and other fun programs to have. So as always, I am Ledbetter17P. Thanks for watching.